Hello, I am the Convolutional Neural Gamer, and this is AI War. So, I am just about to uh, try to kill these Dire Guardians, which will be quite not quite uh, interesting. Hopefully, uh, well, actually, hopefully it's not very interesting, honestly. But um, <laughs> you know, it will be interesting. Uh, the Dire Guardians are no joke. They, um, they I think, I think it spawns three of them, if I recall correctly, and they just. They really do just wreck you. Um, this place also has double damage, so obviously I can't fight them here. It's a terrible, terrible place. Um, with any luck, they will follow me through the wormhole, and I will just be able to fight them here. But um, often they're not so convenient. They'll probably instead decide to be threat like over here or something. Worst case scenario, they decide to be threat actually here. Like they just stay here and try to threat camp camp out here for me to give a chance. But I don't think they'll do that. I think they'll think they're powerful enough to just take my planet, because they probably are. <laughs> um, now, looking at my resources here, I can probably just tell this guy to build up some of the other marks of bombers, which will help me. Um, <laughs> Ah, uh, the homeworld defences. Yeah, you're not going to get through that for a little while. Okay, so yes, I will... I'm going to give this a save just before uh, going, because this is going to be uh, very painful. And then, um, let's pop this guy guardian there. Let's go sh shift out, just to tell them just make a break for it immediately. If it's Gravity Guardians, I may be in a bad place. I may even end up reloading. Let's see. Well, it wasn't Gravity Guardians. Hang on. Before it, it denies me, what have we got? We've got a Dire Shield Guardian. Look at that. Two million health. That's ten times more health than one of my shields has. And 73,000 attack. Um, and we've got some Spider Guardians, which overall is not a problem. Like, yeah. If I had to pick, I think Spy Guardians uh, would be up the list as ones that I don't mind so much. Funny how they actually have a ship cap. It's like ship cap 2, but the airhead doesn't use ship caps, so I don't know what Oh, actually, I've got scouts here. I totally forgot I left scouts here. Yep, they've just gone for it. Um, so let's, uh, let's fight under turrets. Uh, I may lose, uh, but this planet is a... That's, that's like what this planet's for. Um... So get these guys forward. Uh, I probably want the bombers to hit the that. You guys can unload and attack. Thankfully, I'm the one with it on this planet. I'm the one with the double damage, so this is an excellent place to fight. Um, with Mark III bombers, also, I'm actually quite powerful um, That's against this guy. I think. I think they ever fire. God, they have a long reload time. And looks like it's actually going to be pretty smooth. Am I going to lose the command station? No! Ho oh, ho! That was, uh, cutting it tight, but I... It all went well. Okay, the Dire Guardians are gone. That's excellent. That's really, really good. I did not want to have to deal with, um... With, I, 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 was, I was worried that that would be a lot more painful than it was. Because, um, last time I was dealing with them, I had a, uh, champion. And champions are pretty good. They, um... May, yeah, they made, uh... They, they... Like, but the champions are good, and they're also good in a way that makes them particularly good against um, guardians, uh, because that uh, because they like there are several of the champions have giant guns that deal a lot of damage to big beefy targets, and guardians are every bit big beefy targets. So the fact that um, the transports were um, the the. the so the fact that I didn't have the, that, um, and it also also has it also has a ton of health and can drop shields around your fleet and various things that make your both it and your fleet much more hardy. So the fact that I didn't have that made me very nervous about the guardian because I even with that guardians are serious business. It's hard to take them down. Um, so yeah, uh, quite relieved that that was so simple. Now. I did lose quite a few ships though. Um, I'm just going to start poking over here. This guy has missiles. 
Uh, he doesn't have double damage, but that's not going to matter that much. He's still going to deal a lot of damage. Let's sit over here, uh, pull these guys out of range. And we've got the um, strategic reserve here too, so it might not be worth clearing. Uh, I should tell my scouts to go elsewhere. I don't know, I kind of wonder... It wasn't such a pain to collect your scouts again. I'd kind of leave them around the place in useful places, but because it is, they are, it is such a pain, I tend to just let them die. I get back here before the um, Mark Fives reach them. Hello, little guys. You're dead. Uh, what is shooting me from over there? Uh, looks like everything else useful is actually in range of that command station, and I literally can't fight that, so I'm just going to pause them and send them back home. Uh, what a pity. Yeah, that command station has too much help to fight. Well, I've done what I can on that planet. Uh, pity it wasn't more. Okay, these guys are just about done building my fleet, I hope. Takes them a little while. Bombers are expensive. Looks like I will have enough energy to get all my fleet ships going. Two massive ships at 500 and something strength. Eeks. I think they are upgrading, which is kind of concerning. Uh, I don't know how long I have before those become unmanageable. Let's just give it another save. I'm starting to get a little paranoid right now. Uh, yeah, that, that AAR one is just at the end of the last... Uh, j just at the end of where I put up my first um, After Action Report, which I've been uh, I've been putting up an After Action Report on the Ar Arkham uh, Games Forum uh, to go alongside with these videos, um, uh, just as a sort of short version for those who don't want to watch these admittedly rather lengthy, uh, lengthy videos. Um... Uh, yeah, so um, that save is just... I, I took a save right at the end of that in case it's useful. Oh, look, it's the Special Forces. Just some of my favourite, favourite people. I love the Special Forces. That's They've got one of those uh, stealth guard posts, don't they? Yeah, there we go. Pop it. There we go. I kind of... Yeah, I'm not going to take this planet, so I may as well just pop that. Um, iron Cannon. There's no need for it. I very rarely actually uh, am in a position where I can conveniently take uh, a planet with, a, you know, I can actually keep a planet with a lot of iron cannon, so it would be quite quite amusing ha actually having one to uh, roast some AI ships with, a bit of revenge, like now their fleet ships are useless. Even Mark V's too, which is really nice. Um, well, they're not actually useless, because it's the AI generally sends more ships than I ha ever have, so it's much less effective for me than it is for the AI. but. It's it's a nice little extra bit of DPS, and I'm also better at keeping it alive than the AI is anyway. And the AI is worth it, worth using counters on against it. So I will uh, abuse that as much as possible. <laughs> uh, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. Yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to watching some AI ships melt. I'll probably just lose uh, these southern ones down here, even though it would be nice to keep them because uh, I can't defend everywhere and I need to defend this and this might die too because yeah I don't know how long they'll actually last but they're fun I wish I could sell it <laughs> it's so expensive if you look at that that's it's I think it's almost uh, it's, it might even be more expensive a Mark V Iron Cannon is even more expensive than the Iron Blade this will be the special forces maybe I should cull them a little bit while I've got the chance they're not with their uh, Raider Starship uh, right now. If I go out of range, they might retarget and be less likely to attack my Marine ships. Okay, one massive AI ship is in route to my planet. Well, it looks like my defenses are still working, maybe. Oh no, actually no, they're actually in attack now. How's it going? Uh... <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, you guys can come home, and I'm going to tell you guys to get down here. 
Ah, uh, crap there. They're not attacking the place very much, but... Do you guys... Do you ignore force fields? Immune to force fields. And you guys have a bit of health, but... Wait. Energy bra... Ah, oh, they... They didn't kill the force field generators. They managed to take out that with the Plasma Siege Starship. Those little cheating bastards. Ah, oh, that's so dodgy. AI's fighting dirty. Ah, uh, that's really irritating. If I could just get that force field back on, I wouldn't have any problems. But I can't. I don't. Can't. It's a hundred thousand energy. It's too much. I can't possibly deactivate stuff. This won't even begin to kill the shield, but it'll kill the other stuff, which will do the job. Well, most of the other stuff. It's this plasma siege starship. Plasma siege starships are pressure I didn't realize that they didn't have. I didn't have any immunity on my blasted. Um, Stuff. I don't even know if that's going to be enough. I may just have to reload because. Oh, that's so clean. Is that it? Oh no, my turrets are still shooting, apparently. As long as they don't kill the uh, command station, I should be pretty good. I would like them to kill the uh, flagship. Actually, it's just attacking the Dirty Blade, doesn't matter. This guy could be devastating if he was attacking the right thing, but I don't think he is. Because he, he does damage based on uh, health, I think. He's not, but he doesn't seem to be... I'm not seeing his bullets hitting the Exodian Blade. So he could do a ton of damage to the Exodian Blade. There's my, uh, my little helper army. Don't kill the bloody command station, please. Clear these guys out. As a police station. Well, that was quite annoying. Uh, I think the uh, second wave arrived at some point during the whole thing too. Which is part of the reason there's so much stuff here. Uh, good. Done. Now, please, damn it, engineer drones, uh, rebuild that. Make that alive again. What? Ah, oh, come on, game. What happened? Oh, they sniped my command station because they had raptors uh, that s snuck in while my power was down and destroyed my command, my command station. God damn it. There's just... Uh, that's really frustrating. This is why I don't like that the command station is made of paper mache. It's just... It's, you get stupid losses like that that, just, you know, it's just like... I didn't do anything that deserved losing there. It's stupid. Um... And oh well, what can you do? Um, right, so back to this, where was I? I was waiting for them to arrive. Maybe I should just send my transports to help fight. I, I hate having to go back and defend, because this wastes time. I, I don't get the, um... Like, I have to spend the time I would otherwise have spent doing something useful, like attack, like taking planets and progressing in the game, just defending, and you end up with a stalemate situation where it's really boring. Um, and that's, that's just, that's just bad. I just don't like that. Um, so, it's really irritating when the enemy gets to the point where you have to send your fleet back to defend, to help defend. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> I do like how many full transports I can do now. That's excellent. I wonder if there's, how much, uh, what the difference in effectiveness in the in-transport and out-transport for those infiltrators is. I imagine you get a lot more bang for your buck than uh, you do with other ships. Certainly a lot more than those tracking platforms. Okay, let's just hang out here and wait. Because... Yeah, I might snipe my freaky command station with uh, Plasma Siege starships that I can't do anything about. Well, I could. I could unlock higher marks of... Um... I can unlock higher marks of... Um, what do you call those things? Oh, 
uh, whatever. I can, I can only put higher marks of uh, gravity turret, which would slow it down more, and that would uh, potentially allow me to win. I don't even see, where are all these siege, pl plasma siege starships and things that came in and caused so many problems last time? They're just hanging around back there. Like, where's, where are all the starships? I don't get it. So this is, this is, this is pathetic compared to the one I just failed to fight off a moment ago. That's just hitting my shields with the implosion. See, look at how easy that was that time. What the hell? It's just because plasma siege starships hit things under shields, um, which is the most annoying mechanic. Hitting things under shields, it's like, your shields are the only way of practically defending some things that are really critical to you, like energy collectors and command stations. At least military command stations have a little bit of help, but your home one doesn't. Uh, I think your home one is immune to siege starships, thank goodness. Uh, I think that was after people complained because it was just impossible uh, dealing with things when um, your home command station wasn't immune, I seem to vaguely remember. Okay, so I'm back. This time, we will do it without the annoying. Alright. It's one of those mechanics that is, is really annoying and it, it's really not much use to the player. Like, what, are you, what am I going to do with um, damaging stuff under force fields? It's like a mild usefulness, but most of the time the AI is just going to have something dangerous under the force field that can um, shoot down the siege starship too quickly. And they don't have much health, so only the AI, which can... Well, for a starship, they don't have much help. But only the AI is actually capable of um, using them effectively because they can just swamp you with so many starships and things that um, it doesn't matter that they're using them inefficiently. You just can't kill everything at once. Uh, I'm not taking this, am I? It's... Oh, it's got a sniper controller. I'm not sure I'm taking this. Maybe I'll leave the... Um, leave the uh, iron cannon for now. It depends on how many things I feel like I can hack, and whether I decide I need to hack a, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I can, I basically, I should take one, um, because of the core shield scarf boost, I should take, uh, take one planet with this kind of setup, uh, with, with a, uh, fabricator on it. Zilada command station is under attack. How the hell do they do it this time? Don't kill the bloody energy collector. Or shunt around. Ah, uh, actually killed the force field. Wow, that's unusual. Can you please? So now the plasma siege starship's gone. Look at him, He's sniping away. Don't kill the power generator. Kill, build the bloody power generator before I have another thing come in and snipe my home world while I can't do anything about it. Apparently the plasma star siege decided to come late this time rather than early. It makes such a you know, it's like the whole wave is trivial without the tra plasma starship and then they just, those arrive and the whole thing becomes absolutely devastating. It's silly. There shouldn't be such difference in the practicalities of it. Looks like I've got special forces coming in again or something. Zelato Khan station is under attack again. What the hell is it hitting at this time? Oh god, there's another Plasma Siege starship. Where's he off to this time? He must be dead already. Or it's this Zenith Devastator, that's what it is. Uh, they're the same thing. That, if I can find a backup for that, uh, I'd like to kill that. Zenith Devastators are um, painful, because they, they're, they're like Plasma Siege starships, except they're fleet ships that the AI can just spawn tons of them. Actually, they are, do count as starship by the looks of it. There's shots ignore force shields. Yeah. That's crazy. What the hell? And they're really long range too, I believe. Oh no, they're not that long range. It's just they got in range. Ugh, yuck. Okay, well that's gonna make this more difficult if he's gonna have tons of things that ignore force shields. Uh, I need to take out the barracks.
that's going to be fun, I'm sure. Let's give this another save, since I have made it through the brown out without losing my home command station this time. Uh, maybe I can try to work with slightly more buffer in the future. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, actually, what am I even thinking? It's got, it's got spider balls. There's no point even trying to fight things in... Fight these things. They just destroy all my fleet ships in half a second. I'm just a bit... I'm a little bit salty from the from losing suddenly over there, and I'm not thinking properly about what I'm doing. Okay, pay attention, pay attention. Actually, hmm, uh, look, I'll just, I'll do this clear out, and then um, I'll call it for now. I think uh, it's already a bit long on the video, but let's do something else useful for now. How's my health going? Okay, health is going fine. Look, it's just so much more effective. These transports are just so much more effective because they actually have hit points. You know, they don't just die to everything in the universe. Oh, come on, raptors. Go away. I should actually um, be pulling these guys out anyway. <laughs> uh... I probably uh, pro probably should uh, should have a gap before the next uh, video too. Um, frustrated is not it's not the best thing. Ah, damn, get outside the screen. Problem is I have to click wide because if I if they ever reach the position I last clicked they uh, stop. So to keep them moving like this I have to click way further than I want them to go. I don't want to get hit by everything at once. Kill these guys. This is much cleaner when I don't have um when I have uh transports of full health. It's not even a problem. Transports are so good. Transports really are so good. <laughs> I need to find the one that's on twenty five percent. A lot of them are in good health, but there's something on the okay. Let's get the ones that are a little bit low. No, you're not that low, actually. Yeah. Oh, you. You guys. Oh no, that way. Okay, kill uh, more of these guys. Oh crap, 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 crap. Didn't notice how low that guy was getting. Alright, let's just go and repair, and there's only a few of these guys left, which I can clean up uh, after I'm on full health again. So, yes, I. So that'll. And with that barracks gone, I'll be finally be able to take that. I almost have the Exodium Blade complete. I have a lot of money now, actually. I can start pouring that into the Exodium Blade. It'll hit over 80% very shortly, and uh, in the next few videos, I should be able to actually turn the thing on um, and see what happens. So that will be quite interesting. <laughs> Hopefully the AI doesn't go, well, you shouldn't have done that this early, now die. <laughs> Because um, I seem to recall uh, when I was first experimenting with the uh, showdown device. It's actually something I've never won the game with too, the showdown device. Um, when I experimented with it, I um, I had a had a poor experience. Um, the AI just... Um, yeah, I just... I did it... I, I sort of beelined it and activated it pretty early. And the AI just sent so much stuff at me. I was just murdered wasn't even close. Uh, <laughs> so that was a lesson, lesson learned. Uh, apparently they don't want you to win easily with that one. They want you to have lots of stuff. Yeah, they, they really do love to scatter around the place and make it hard for you to click them quickly. I wonder what AI War 2 will be like for that. Well, yeah, ships run around like crazy things. 
quite so often. Yeah, 92 is now the worst health ship I've got. I think, I'm not sure I've got many actual ships in these transports now. It looks like I've got at least one that's pretty cool. There's no need to move them, actually. Ah, uh, there is a bit of need to make sure they get in range, but... It's okay. Go through the door. You. Run. A surprising amount of DPS for things that don't uh, aren't supposed to attack things. <laughs> like none of these guys that are left are actually supposed to be used in direct combat. Like, you know, they've got wars that are supposed to swallow things, and the um, uh, the uh, shield bearers, which are really just defensive units. They're not really supposed to be used in direct combat like this, but um, they certainly have the lasting power, uh, and they seem to be able to, together, do enough DPS to be a bit of a problem. 112 times 9, actually. Spy and Wall of 4s. Uh, not half bad, but I guess that's because they're um, Mark 4s. <laughs> you would expect Mark 4s to be pretty dangerous. Zenith Polarizers. That's not going to do anything, is it? <laughs> Yes. Mm. Alright. Oh, that's that cleared out. I can take I will take this planet next time, and the Zenith power generator will at last be mine, and I will hopefully very shortly activate the Exodian Blade. So, I've been Convolutional Neural Gamer, this has been AO I War, and I will see you next time.